Friedrich Waller, German, Vo Stroke L, the 31st of July 1800 to the 23rd of September 1882, was a German chemist, best known for his synthesis of urea, but also the first to isolate several chemical elements. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> 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 He was born in Eschersheim, which belonged to Hanau at the time but is nowadays a district of Frankfurt am Main. In 1823 Waller finished his study of medicine in Heidelberg at the laboratory of Leopold G. Mellon, who arranged for him to work under Johns Jakob Berzelius in Stockholm, Sweden. He taught chemistry from 1826 to 1831 at the Polytechnic School in Berlin until 1839 when he was stationed at the Polytechnic School at Kassel. Afterwards, he became ordinary professor of chemistry in the University of Göttingen, where he remained until his death in 1882. In 1834, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Contributions to chemistry. Waller is regarded as a pioneer in organic chemistry as a result of his accidentally synthesizing urea from ammonium cyanate in the Waller synthesis in 1828. In a letter to Swedish chemist Johns Jacob Berzelius the same year, he wrote, In a manner of speaking, I can no longer hold my chemical water. I must tell you that I can make urea without the use of kidneys of any animal, be it man or dog. This discovery has become celebrated as a refutation of vitalism, the hypothesis that living things are alive because of some special vital force. However, contemporary accounts do not support that notion. This Waller myth, as historian of science Peter J. Ramberg called it, originated from a popular history of chemistry published in 1931, which, ignoring all pretense of historical accuracy, turned Waller into a crusader who made attempt after attempt to synthesize a natural product that would refute vitalism and lift the veil of ignorance, until, one afternoon the miracle happened. Nevertheless, it was the beginning of the end of one popular vitalist hypothesis, that of Johns Jakob Berzelius, that organic compounds could be made only by living things. Topic. Major works, discoveries and research Waller was also known for being a co-discoverer of beryllium, silicon and silicon nitride, as well as the synthesis of calcium carbide, among others. In 1834, Waller and Justus Liebig published an investigation of the oil of bitter almonds. They proved by their experiments that a group of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms can behave like an element, take the place of an element, and be exchanged for elements in chemical compounds. Thus the foundation was laid of the doctrine of compound radicals, a doctrine which had a profound influence on the development of chemistry. Since the discovery of potassium by Humphrey Davy, it had been assumed that alumina, the basis of clay, contained a metal in combination with oxygen. Davy, Ersted, and Berzelius attempted the extraction of this metal, but failed. Waller then worked on the same subject, and discovered the metal aluminium in 1827. To him also is due the isolation of the elements yttrium, beryllium, and titanium, the observation that silicium silicon can be obtained in crystals, and that some meteoric stones contain organic matter. He analyzed meteorites, and for many years wrote the digest on the literature of meteorites in the Jahresbrick to Uber die Fortschritt der Chemie. He possessed the best private collection of meteoric stones and irons existing. Waller and St. Clair de Ville discovered the crystalline form of boron, and Waller and Heinrich Buff discovered silane in 1856. Waller also prepared urea, a constituent of urine, from ammonium cyanate in the laboratory without the help of a living cell. Topic. Final days and legacy Waller's discoveries had great influence on the theory of chemistry. The journals of every year from 1820 to 1881 contain contributions from him. In the Scientific American Supplement for 1882, it was remarked that, for two or three of his researches he deserves the highest honor a scientific man can obtain, but the sum of his work is absolutely overwhelming. Had he never lived, the aspect of chemistry would be very different from that it is now. Waller had several students who became notable chemists. Among them were Georg Ludwig Carius, Heinrich Limprecht, Rudolf Fittig, Adolf Wilhelm Hermann Kolbe, Albert Niemann, and Wojtek Safarik. Topic: 
Topic: Further works. Further works from Waller. Lehrbuch der Chemie, Dresden, 1825, 4 vols. Grundriss der Inorganischen Chemie, Berlin, 1830. Grundriss der Chemie, Berlin, 1837 to 1858 volume. 1 and 2 digital edition by the University and State Library Dusseldorf Grundriss der Organischen Chemie, Berlin, 1840 Praktischübungen in der Chemischen Analyse, Berlin, 1854. Topic. See also Justus von Liebig Silver cyanate Silver fulminate Isomerism Hilaire Marin Ruel Stanley Miller Notes <laughs>